Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and I am in a standard Gundam, but the reason I am posting this is because it's uh, something that I know some people have been wanting to see. It is a it is a Federation versus Zeon match. Uh, team A is the Federation side, Team B is Zeon. You will see one Gundam type. It was the it is the Blue Destiny Unit 2 on the Zeon side. Of course, Zeon stole that, so it counts. So yeah, and. A thing I used to do a lot in Battle Operation 1 was sneak up this side and see if I could get some shots in towards the checkpoint. With a, with a sniper type or, you know, something that can bombard a little bit, you can get, you can sometimes take out the person taking point F. But right here, it, it was just a good place to sneak a couple of shots in on the enemy team. As you can see from the rockets, there's one of the high mobility Zakus is here. And... Pretty sure that's the Blue Destiny. It certainly has a pink firing beam rifle, which would read Blue Destiny to me. And because most native Xeon rifles are, of course, yellow. There's that high mobility firing again. And that is, I think, from the, from the beam saber and the dodge roll, it's either an Akzaku or a Gan. I'm not sure which. And there's our high mobility because it had a uh, rocket launcher in its hands. I have two bazooka shells left. I'm trying to keep my shield to, uh, to the uh, Zaku over there. Okay, there's an free, which is on the ground. I've got my back to the enemy, which is not ideal, but I wanted to try and kill that guy. And there's the BD-2, which I just shifted back. Because, yeah, if you pull straight back and do the uh, evasion double tap on boost, you get you get just a little, like, shift like that instead of a uh, actual dodge roll, which I kind of like. And that is, I think it is an Axok, or maybe it's another free. Either way, it's a mobile suit, so I'm going to shoot it next time I see it. I saw number three over here. It's a pixie, I'm pretty sure. And I figured it could use the help, so I came over to help. My legs, however, are almost dead, which the enemy saw. And that is an Axaku, and it's nearly dead. And my legs are dead. This is an ace match, so no point to uh, bomb the base or any such, but let's see, just waiting. Yeah, I decided to take a jump shot, but it was too late because the Pixie managed to finish that off. So now I kind of just fall on the ground here. But okay, and yeah, I think basically, yeah, I, I'm behind cover. There's an ally right by me. I'm probably, I'm not sure whether I'm going to run for it. Yeah, I'm going to run for it. I was sometimes, you know, Darth Merrick was saying in the comments to one of the videos earlier this week that sometimes he'll just set down right where he is because it's hard to get away, especially in that one video where I didn't know there was a camphor right behind me. But if you if you see a relatively open spot on the map and you're sure the enemy doesn't have a stealth mobile suit, which, you know, barring an free uh, that activated its smoke, it, they don't, it was, it was worth getting away to get, like, three bars back on my legs. Let's see, I'm not sure whether they evaded or uh, or triggered exam there to uh, avoid the shot, but they avoided the shot. That one of three, I think it is, is nearly dead. And, let's see, I think the uh, pixie is after the uh, blue destiny there. Ah, I got somebody. Good. That's the blue destiny right there. You can, again, pink beam rifle. It is, uh, it is, uh, the Blue Destiny 2. And I've still got about half health. I've got some legs, not as many as I would like. But, yeah, I just fired into that because I didn't see uh, number four there in front of me. And I was reasonably sure that if I fired into that grouping, I'd hit something. And I did! And I hit somebody's shield doing it again. But, you know, there is no point for me to be, like up close and personal with that with the level of health I have. Now I'm stuck on a building, but yeah, I'm just trying to pull back because I need my bazooka to reload before I can do anything productive. Because again, when you're when your legs are damaged and you're down to low health, it's the perfect time to be fighting at range whenever possible. And there go my legs again, so I'm just going to make a break for it. And I made a break, and I think probably, yeah, I'll stop wherever my boost uh, ends and just get the repairs done, which should be far enough away that I have a chance to do it. So this is probably not my 
finest round, but I think I do all right. And again, uh, since an actual like Federation versus Zeon round is a relatively rare thing at this point, I, I figured I'd show it off. So this time I'm going up to five bars of leg. That should keep me for a little longer. I have a little bit more than half health. And the ace is fighting our ace, who is number four. And is in really good health. So, let's see. The enemy ace destroyed an ally. Sorry, just got kind of hypnotized there but, uh, for a second, because I wasn't sure. I remember making the mental calculations as to whether I should go after that Zaku that the rest of the team is dealing with now and leaving for the ace, or whether I should go after the enemy ace and decided that... In terms of point value, it made more sense to go after the enemy ace, which is what I did. But I'm nearly dead again, so this time I'm just going to go back to base and repair. I feel like in an ace match, the math on whether or not you should repair is a little bit different because you can potentially be worth a lot more points than you can generate if the enemy ace is able to kill you easily. So in these cases... It is definitely, definitely worth uh, going back and getting a, a good repair in if you can. It's about 90 seconds left, and I decided it was time to double back because I saw our ace taking a lot of damage. It was too late, but it was time to move back anyway because, yeah, most of my health, most of my legs, and the enemy ace is right there. So it's time to uh, go engage if I can. It's got about half health. That's manageable, and I've got a good shot on it. And he destroyed one of our allies. We've got a slight lead, but not a great lead. In an ace match, that lead is basically nothing. Trying to keep him stunned for the pixie. Don't think I hit the pixie, but I was trying not to. Got a good angle on the ace, got my shots in, and we got the ace. And at the same time, our ace uh, destroyed the enemy, so we've got, again, a decent lead with a minute left. It's, it's definitely acceptable. And I kind of realized at this point I was sticking my nose out and started uh, backpedaling fast. Just wanted to get some stun in while I was out there. And yeah, at this point I am advising fallback for now because we've got a considerable lead. They were pretty well concentrated. It was not a good time, I thought, for our ace to be, uh, uh, be exposed. So since he was still pressing when he got stunned, I just put myself directly in front of him because I did not want to risk it. And then there's uh, that's their ace, and I'm trying not to just go diving into that whole team, but naturally if I see an angle on that ace, I want to take it with this little time left. But, no, I don't. But our ace decided to move in, so it is time to go in. And I managed... I got the enemy... One of us got the enemy ace. I'm not sure if it was me or somebody else, but we got him. We won by a solid 6,000 points, which is not... Trem it's tremendous in any other mode in ace matches. It's decent. So yeah, I did not place in that one, but I think, you know, I also didn't die, and I think I played fairly sensibly, so I figured it was worth a shot. Anyway, that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!